2015 marks the 30th year of NCDOT's renowned wildflower program. This year's program has taken on a new level of importance to our state. Together in partnership, the North Carolina Department of Agriculture, Bayer Crop Science, and NCDOT have dubbed 2015 the Year of the Pollinator. Pollinators are bees, butterflies, moths, beetles, birds, and other animals whose work can be attributed to up to a third of the food that we eat, including produce such as cucumbers, berries, watermelons, apples, and squash. Over the past several years, we've seen a, a decline in pollinators, uh, not only in North Carolina, but across the country and, and really across the world. One of the things that I really enjoy about North Carolina is uh, seeing the wildflower plots along the highways and so you know that 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 kind of rang a bell uh, you know if we're doing this with wildflowers why not be able to plant uh, pollinator crops in some of the property that DOT has and enhance the efforts that the Department of Agriculture is making to uh, bring back pollinator habitat. This summer NCDOT combined its existing resources and expertise with funding from Bayer Crop Science to plant dedicated pollinator habitats along many of the state's roadways to support the pollination needs of North Carolina's farmers. Bayer approached the Department of Transportation mainly because leadership in Bayer recognized the North Carolina Wildflower Program. And in reality, the North Carolina Wildflower Program has been a pollinator program for over 30 years. The White House came out with the National Pollinator Task Force, which really focused on public-private partnerships. How can we be better using the land that we already have? So really it was a no-brainer situation for the Bear Bee Care Center located in Raleigh-Durham, North Carolina, to partner with the NCDOT. At the end of the day, it came out best that Bear Crop Science provided the NCDOT with $100,000 to plant some sunflowers and canola across the state of North Carolina in the year of 2015. I think it's a very simple uh, premise that the more pollinator habitat we have, the more pollinators we have, so the better the pollination of the crops. And it's not only about farmers, but it's about every citizen in North Carolina because they're dependent on the food supply. So with this partnership, we're able to use uh, primarily existing resources that we both have uh, and increase, uh, increase pollinator habitat exponentially. 